What's going on guys, welcome back to another redstone video and today we're going to be, um, show, I'm going to show you how to make a few contraptions. So, first one we're going to try and make is this thing over here. I'll give, and, and I'll just, um, I can't give you a quick demonstration, you'll see it at the end. So what you'll need is a sticky piston, three normal pistons, um, a f three, no, four furnaces, um, a decent quantity of repeaters, a lot of redstone, an observer, another piston, a comparator, four hoppers, and a lever. That is what you're going to need to build this. You're also going to need a block of your choice, which I'm going to pick as a sandstone. So, first, what you want to do is you want to place down your lever. Then, you'd want to place down something going out of it that looks a bit like this. See, I'm not used to doing redstone tutorials. This is why I'm going to be a bit bad at this. Then, you grab your hoppers, place a block, 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 and then, so first of all, you place a block, 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 you grab your hoppers, and you start placing them in order while digging out the blocks. Shift click for the last one, and that will do your system. You want to turn this on and put a um, item that you don't want that you don't want to use in it. In this case, I'm using sandstone, so you can use whatever you want. But I just use sandstone for this part here. Next, you want to place a comparator running out of this, and you want to run that into a sticky piston, sticky piston facing this way with an observer on it. Then, what you want to do is you want to place one, you want to place redstone, block, redstone, and repeater. So it goes like this, redstone, block, redstone, and repeater on one tick. Now just for you that, uh, that you've no idea, this is not zero ticks, this is one tick. If it was zero ticks, then things would go hell ways. So this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. So there's four ticks all together. One, two, three, four. Go. I'm energizing up with some monster. I'll even prove to you that I have some monster on camera. And just turn my thing on. Time to energize with some with some monster. With some monster. There we go. Oh yeah, it's good stuff. Hits me hard and it's good. Now, let's get back to our redstone contraption. So, what you want to do after you do that repeater, you want to go back over to this block here. Place a block with a repeater set to one tick. So basically you just place a repeater and you don't do anything else with this. Then you'd want to place a piston right like a sticky piston right like that. Then you'd want to run redstone out the back and you'd want to place one, two, three like this. A bit like that. And then you'd want to run that into a repeater that's going out that's set to um, one tick yet again. You want to run that into a repeater that is set on one tick. And you want to do one, two, three. Then another repeater set to four ticks or the max ticks. And then place an observer facing this way into another piston. Now this is not a compact design to do it, but. I just did it like this, and it's it's the way it works for me. And then beside that piston, you'd want to place a furnace, because the furnace is an immovable object, which means it cannot be pushed by pistons. So when the blocks are coming around, it's like if this furnace wasn't here, blocks go out here. But you see, pistons can't push furnaces, so that's why this furnace is here to help the control of blocks. Then what you want to do after that furnace is um, just up here from it, you want to place another furnace. Now we're going to get back to this. Remember this repeater that we placed before? 
You need a redstone, a block, and then a piece of redstone. What was this? Reds. Okay, so redstone, block, piece of redstone. And that's pretty much all you have to do. And then you place a normal piston going out the side, going out the side like that. Actually, do do you do it like that? I'm pretty sure you do. Do you? Oh yeah, you do it like that. So the piston has to be facing the same way the sticky piston is facing. Then what you want to do after that is you want to place a furnace just diagonal to that piston, basically right here. Now uh, this shouldn't. I don't know why that is there, but now all you need to do is run a um, redstone repeater set to two ticks, redstone dust, and a, another piston. And there is your piston feed tape. There is your suction piston feed tape done. I'm pretty sure I'm building the layout of blocks wrong. There, that's your suction piston feed tape. Let's see if it works. Oh. I might have built that a bit too close. Yeah, so you want to move this back. This is this is what happens when I try to do redstone contraptions. I get them right, but there's this tiny little mistake that I always get wrong, and I'm so annoyed when that happens. It's just so annoying. That should be our fourteen. That that should be our fourteen. Then we move this level just slightly more over. Break that. Don't break, break that as well. Piston, observer, boom. And you want to place a piece of redstone dust right there. There you go. You, I'm pretty sure now we have our fully our, our fully functional piston feed tape here. There we go. That is our piston feed tape done. So this is how it works. So let me just pause this and just turn this off so I'm going to show you. First, this sticky piston grabs this block here, pulls it back, and then this piston pushes over here. But not, actually no, first this piston pushes a this thing over here, then the sticky piston grabs that block, and then this piston pushes that over there. And then last of all, this piston pushes it over here, which does the block uh, formation you see right here. It is pretty, pretty mesmerizing to watch. I always love watching this, and it works the exact same way this one does. Actually, it does actually work a bit different. I think I might have set it to a bigger delay. Oh, yeah, that. If you want it to be more satisfying, set this to four times. There we are. Now, see, it's more, it's more sophisticated block reformation. But yes, that is our um, three normal piston. Not it would usually be four pistons, but this is our three compact piston system right here. Now, onto a more simpler one: our button selector panel. I'm just going to make sure my camera is off because that would be bad if it was on. So yes. Anyways, let us move on to our button selector panel. One of the simplest ones that we're going to have today. You'd need a decent quantity of sandstone, uh, as many lamps as you want, as many buttons as you want, um, a, few, a couple of sticky pistons, a couple of preservers. So in this case, if you want to build a, something like this, you need four buttons, uh, four lamps, a, a lot of sandstone, just grab a stack to be sure, um, piss, four pistons, four observers, no, eight pistons, four observers, four redstone blocks, um, 16 repeaters, and that's pretty much all you need. So, first, what you're going to do is you are going to um, build up one block like this, and place a line of blocks, sort of that looks like this. And you place redstone lamps, and then on top of that, you place your blocks, which is what I just done. Then, place your buttons on the back, and you have your um, simple activation button. This is your activation system, this is where it's going to be. Then you want to place a line of blocks at the back like so. And and then you want to place a line of blocks just behind there. So now it should look a bit like this. 
then what you want to do is you want to grab your pistons and then place them like so with your observers and then place them like so yes again grab your grab your other four pistons and place them in sort of like a row not like what i'm doing i'm just doing like a thing and then you place them in a row that looks something like that so now it should look something like this and on the end of those pistons you want to place your four redstone blocks we were just talking about when i was at the start of when i was talking about the start of this so you want to and um, get your redstone blocks your four of them and place them on the bottom of these pistons right here then you want to place four sandstone here and then 12 pieces of sandstone here. Then you want to place your 12 repeaters, 12 repeaters on this side, and then your last four on this side. Now this is one of the simplest systems that people can make. And people that kind of understand the basics of redstone but don't understand a lot about it, is they forget that observers release two pulses which will push it out and bring it, push the sticky pit, so push, push the redstone block out and then suck it back in. So what we're doing here is we're using observers instead because they will only, no, no, we just, no, we're using sticky pistons to push the observers into the pistons which will only send one pulse, not two. Which will do this. And it will leave the lamp on. So the great thing about this is that it sends a singular redstone out. So basically, the reason why we have this line of repeaters here is to activate this lamp, showing us that it is off. And on the other side is our actual output. So this could be like an activation system for your farms, an activation system for like some of your machines, your mob grinders. Yeah, this is a pretty sophisticated system if you ask me. And I've always loved button selector panels. I did not have to make them until I just came up with one yesterday. So, now that is done, we are going to move on to the most complicated one of the day. Which is going to be a full scale vertical piston feet. That sounds complicated, but basically what it's doing is we're moving blocks around in a circle that's kind of going that goes like this horizontal vertical. Vertical horizontal, vertical horizontal, and it's going to go like in square form. And that is what we're going to be replicating. Now, surprisingly, this is my original fist and feed table. Look at the compact levels between that one and this one. As you can see, this one is extremely messy and redstone is all over the place. But as you can see on that one, it's just, it's just clean. There's barely any redstone here. Well, actually, there's quite a bit of redstone there, but not as messy as that. Like, look at this mess. Compared to that. I think I'd rather use that one. I I'm actually really surprised. This one's faster. As you can see, this one's very, very fast. Uh, and as you can see, it does have memory. But that's, the, that's besides the point. This is the one we're going to be using today. So, now you could attach a memory reel to this and some colors. Basically what a memory reel does. So let me just show you a quick example over here. As you can see, transparent blocks cannot transfer redstone signals through them, while solid blocks can. So you move two rows at the same time, and one row can be all colors, and one row can be all glass except for one, which is an which is, uh, iron block. In this case, the right color is red. So red needs to get up, up, um up there so red down there needs to get up here and then it'll and when red gets up here this iron block will follow the red up here and then it will transfer the redstone signal which can be used in a lot of combinations i wouldn't recommend putting that monstrosity in your system i'd recommend something like this like this is that's simple compared to that but it's more simple compared to that so what you're going to need is one lever uh, a, a lot, and I mean, saw so a lot of redstone dust. Four hoppers, quite a bit of repeaters. Um, four. Now, if you want to build two sides, you can. If you want to build one side, you can just do four pistons. But do eight pistons because if you have completely no idea how redstone works, follow this one, 
Just grab eight pistons and copy what I'm doing because that it'll be more difficult for you. And finally, a block of your choice and some slabs. The reason why we're using slabs is because slabs are the most efficient way of making redstone signals travel upwards. And we're using quite a sophisticated method where we are just using like the very, very bare resources that we have. Now, let's get on to the actual machine, shall we? What you're going to do is you're going to place a lever and place some redstone dust. I can't actually have to copy off mine because this is really sophisticated. So you need to place a lever, uh, a piece of redstone dust, and a repeater. Grab your hoppers, place three blocks like so, then put then and face those blocks while you're placing your hoppers. And for the last and for the last one, you break the block and you shift click it, and then turn your lever on and put a random block that you don't want say for example like sandstone but in this case we are using sandstone for both the fist and feed tape and the um hop block oh you're also going to need a comparator I completely forgot about that because without the comparator your whole systems come go combust so at then on the other side you want to place your comparator which is not on subtract mode i repeat do not put it on subtract mode then on the other side of your comparator you, you want to place a p repeater redstone dust redstone dust redstone dust a bit like this boom like that and you want to um uh, grab five pieces of redstone dust and place them in a sort of weird pattern like this and then you want to do that on pretty much both sides but I think it's a bit different on the other side is a tiny bit different then you want to grab four pieces of redstone just oh wait actually no that, that's one two three four five yeah you want to grab four pieces of redstone and place it like this one two three four and then you've got that system down oh, i hate my time minecraft how long is the obs recording i wonder it is 17 minutes we still got a decent amount of time yet left so once you've got that done you'd want to place a um you want to place a redstone dust two blocks and another piece of redstone dust just off to the side of uh, your little random thing jig here so redstone dust two blocks and a two redstone dusts then you want to place two more blocks repeaters set to two ticks I think are they two ticks you want to put a repeater set to four ticks now this is not um your um normal piston feed tape this is like a one piss this is like a one move around system piston feed tape usually it would be it would be something like this something like that but you see I prefer to use this design here because I, I can work off this way easier than I can do the other design but I did it over there and I'm doing it over here as well and here so I do it most of the time, so you know what, I'm just going to copy off what I did. And then you're going to place two pistons going out like so. Now we are going to go back here and try to look at this again. So then off to the side, basically you just place two redstone dusts off to the side of your um of that, and it's pretty pretty simple. You just need to place um one two one two. Two, one, two, one, two, one, one, two. That's pretty much all you need to do. That is the simple. Actually, no, you don't need to place blocks. You just need to play. Yeah, it's just it's just that. It's it couldn't get any simpler. It, it really couldn't. You just do that. Just place two redstone dust, two repeaters, a couple of pistons, and boom. You've got your first part. Let's see it in action. You've got that down. Now, what you want to do next is you want to place a um, slab that is one, two slabs off the ground. Basically, another block up. Starting here. This can get a bit finicky when you're dealing with slabs, because, you know, slabs of slabs in there. Hard to figure out which coordinates they're at. 
and then you'd want to continue it going to the left so instead of the right you go to the left so you go this way this could be pretty hard to do considering uh, those right stuff there. and then just continue that for not that far up let me just measure how much blow just measure how much blocks is that um to go up so that's three two three four five six so you want to go we are going to go six blocks up well six slabs up so you want to use about six slabs to complete this so that's four five six that's about six slabs up and you'd want to do the same on the other side and I think it's the same way no it's the opposite side so you want to do the same on the other side except you go that way instead of that way with your slabs which I am going to do right now and boop 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 and we're going this way this time which is a bit different boop, boop. Oh my god, I keep placing my slabs. So you just want to continue this for just a bit more. Oh, I've already done four. And then let's do five. And let's do six. Which I have successfully done right there. There we go. So that is your two that uh, is your slabs placed. Now beside your slabs, on the on the left set you want to place two blocks going that going one going this way and two pistons in a certain orientation. I'm going to show you that in a second. So I think it's like that. And then what else? Okay, so two blocks and then two blocks more. The pistons which are going to be like that. And then you just do your levers. So, and and when you place your repeaters in, set them to three ticks. And this is not two ticks. This is three ticks. Just so you know. And then you'd want to bring your redstone right the way up here and two. And you don't want to do the same on the other side. The other side's like a tiny bit less compact. But uh, you want to place a, another slab out to the right, like. So now when you do that and when you place the other slab out to the right you want to place two more blocks as usual, two repeaters and some pistons, which I'm going to do right now. Two blocks, another two blocks, some pistones, which are gonna be facing downwards. Boop. Right, so you're going to have something that looks sort of like this. Oh, and also you want to place in your redstone, obviously. Don't forget about your redstone. Now you may be wondering, James, what about the repairs? The signal could run out. Now I have calculated this thoroughly, and the signal doesn't run out. Trust me, I've tested it already. And finally, you want to set these pistons to two ticks, which is this is two ticks right here. That's three ticks, not two. two. There we go. Now, your piston free tape should be working, but first of all, we're going to place our blocks in. So, the blocks, you place them in here, like that. Now, that is the wrong way around, isn't it? Oh, God. Yeah, the pistons are the wrong way around. Ouch. Yeah, I think they're. I think they're the wrong way around anyways, I don't know. Big oof, James. You're a total spoon when it comes to redstone. You're an absolute idiot when it comes to redstone. Oh, God. Ow. Ouch, I done it wrong. Oh, I done it wrong. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh. 
that's actually supposed to be the higher up one that's supposed to be five that's supposed to be six all right so this one i believe is supposed to be five so this so you just need to bring it down an extra i don't know one block perhaps i uh, i don't know what i'm doing anymore what what, what am i doing with myself what, what am i what am i still doing here hey okay i'll come back to you when it's fixed I don't want to start streaming. Darn it. No. No. Hmm. Okay. Well, why, is it, why was it streaming there? Anyways, I'll uh, see you in a minute. Fix right, I fixed it. So, what you're actually going to do is you're going to make this one two slabs tall. So, it's one, two, three, f one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you want to make it eight blocks tall, two blocks, two redstone, two blocks, two repeaters at the three ticks. You want to keep this one the same, except you want to orientate the pistons facing towards these pistons and one block down. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six slab blocks tall, then one to the left, piece of redstone dust, two blocks, two redstone, two blocks, two repeaters at the one tick. To set the two ticks each. That's three, that's two. Whoops, I messed it up. Anyways, now we can actually start placing in our blocks, which I'm going to do right now. So, you want to start the one tick, and then you want to go up. Except for the rest of them, you don't want to actually place it on the piston f faces, because that will mess a whole lot of things up, and you will not be able to do it properly. That is wrong. That should be like that. Alright, let's keep placing. Place, place, place. And then place, 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 and remember to remove these after you've placed them. And boom, there you go, fully functioning piston feed tip. It's actually bigger than that one, surprisingly. I think I might have made it a tiny bit too big, but yes, you should be able to copy off this. And remember, six, eight, and yeah. So let's give it a let's give it a whirl. As you can see, it fully rotates around. Now, piston V tapes are very, very useful because they can be used in a lot of color combinations, though, which is very, very, very handy for um, protecting your base. And that's sometimes why I use these. I don't usually use them too much, but you know, um, still, they are fun to use, and uh, I like them. That's going to be the end for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.